Welcome everyone. I am really excited for this series. Because I believe God wants to do miracles in our lives. Some of us are experiencing trouble and difficulties. And God wants to help. And God can do miracles. And I just want to thank you so much for letting me be here in Cambodia to be a part of what God is doing. I love the Khmer culture. I love to learn Khmer. <laughs> and I'm so happy to share about Jesus in Cambodia. We're doing the series on miracles. Because miracles happen all over the place. Both big and small. I have friends in my church. And they say, oh, I want to ask out this girl. And if she says yes, it'll be a miracle. I have some people, they say, I open up the Oshi bottle. And I win a free Oshi. And it's a miracle. <laughs> but these are small miracles. And the miracles God does is different. God does such big, amazing miracles, it changes our lives. It's not just the Tamada. It's the real touches our heart. It changes our lives. It's big miracles. And we're going to talk about different kinds of miracles in this series. And every miracle is happening today. And you can experience God's miracle. In our church, we've already baptized over 20 people. And in their testimonies, they talk about experiencing these miracles from God. God is touching our hearts. And this is not just happening in our church. This is happening to churches all over Cambodia. People are experiencing these miracles from God. And they're choosing to follow Jesus. Because God loves us. He wants to help us to get free and to live a life full of joy with purpose, with friendships. So today we're going to challenge you a little bit to think about can God do a miracle in my life? Could God really do a miracle in my life? To understand miracles, we need to explain what their purpose is. A miracle is like a sign. A sign tells you where something is. But a sign is not the location. There's a greater purpose. It's like if you went to Angkor Wat. And there's a sign, Angkor Wat. And you think, wow, it's a sign. I'm going to stop here. Take my picture. And then I'm going to go home. And I don't go to the actual Angkor Wat. It would be stupid. Because the signs point to something bigger. Miracles point to something bigger. Miracles point to a faith in Jesus. 
They don't make our faith in Jesus. They point to who Jesus is. So you know that it's true. So don't just have a miracle and it's done. But get a miracle so God can show you what is real life, what is real faith. So in this topic of miracles, we're going to talk about evil must go. About deliverance. This topic has affected me personally. I have experienced evil spirits in my life. And it's not easy to talk about sometimes. Because some people, they don't want to talk about this. But because God has done a miracle in my life, I have no fear. I can see evil and I can see good. And Jesus came for this reason. To set people free from evil spirits. So if you are experiencing evil spirits. Maybe you feel like I can't tell anybody about this. Don't be afraid. Jesus is here. He is right right where you are. And he can do a miracle. When we think about evil spirits, we think about dark places. You know, like the alley. When you're in your room, under the bed. In the dark corner of your house it's where the ghosts are it's where the evil spirits go and Jesus actually understands this because he calls evil spirits he references them to darkness and he says this about it the light shines in the darkness and and the darkness has not overcome. The light shines in the darkness. But the darkness does not have the power to overcome it. The moment you turn on the light, the darkness goes away. So Jesus is saying, if you are in darkness, I got you. I will protect you. I will cast the darkness out of you. Because I have the power to help you. God is all powerful. God has all the power over every evil. And to understand evil spirits, we have to understand the beginning of where they came from. Sometimes we think evil spirits are my dead ancestors. Or they're random things and objects. But God says there's something else. Evil spirits are liars. And they steal. In the beginning, God made everything. That's why he has all the power. Whatever is here, he made. Both physical and spiritual. God made angels. These are good spirits. That give us God's messages. But some of those angels decided not to follow God. And they rebelled against him because of pride, because of bitterness. And when this happened, there was a battle. But it was a short battle. 
Because God is all powerful. So he shot the angels down. Like lightning. It wasn't even a quick fight. It was, it was faster than quick. It was instant. The angels had no chance against an all-powerful God. God has all the power. He's not equal to anyone. So when it comes to evil spirits, God is greater. And there's a lie that some people believe that evil spirits are fighting with God. They're just fighting with our hearts. God has already won. It's just a question of does your heart want to win too? I was talking to a man who believed in evil spirits. And he was a witch doctor. And he told me, I can look at someone's picture. And I can say their name. And they will die. Because I have the power. And I said, why do you believe you have power? I said, because God and Satan are fighting. And I said, then let me ask you this question. If you were to take my picture and say that word, what will happen to me? What would happen to my life? And he thought about it. And he sat back. And he said, nothing. I said, why would nothing happen to me? And I pulled out a picture and said, say it right now. And he said, nothing will happen. Why will nothing happen to me? He said, because you have God inside of you. I said, because God is not equal to Satan. He's greater. It's because the Bible says this, greater is God in me than anyone, any evil spirit in the world. When God is inside of us, His power fills us up. And the evil has to go. It cannot stay. It can try to fight against us. But it's not greater than God. Because we are made for power. Just like this light bulb. It is made to have light. It's made to have power. But it needs the, the electricity inside to make it happen. It needs to be in the lamp. And when, and when, just like we need to be in God. And when we are in God, the power comes on. When we give our heart to Jesus, we ask Him to come into our lives. The Holy Spirit fills us up, and the evil begins to go. And this is what God's desire is. This is why God came as a man named Jesus. Was to teach us how to have his love, his power inside of our lives. That we could get rid of the evil. And have God's light. So how do we do this? It starts with a prayer. But then it becomes a process. Every day we have to begin to learn 
How has evil come into my life? And how do I get out of it? How do I get the evil out? By spending time with God. By listening to God. And pushing away the evil lies. Pushing away the evil spirit. Because evil wants, evil takes, but God will give. Evil spirits want to just take from us. We give them money. We give them food. We give them our time. They, they take and take. But God wants to give. He wants to give life. He wants to give hope. It says this about evil spirits. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in faith. How do we stay with God's power inside of us? By standing firm in faith. Each day trusting God. It says the devil, he wants to get us not firm in our faith. We don't even have to to attack evil. We just need to stay close to God. And when we're connected to him, the power stays inside of us. But the evil spirits, they're like thieves. Evil spirits are jealous of you. They wanna they they lost that connection with God. And they will do anything to steal your life. To steal this love that God gives. But they only have power if you give it to them. So it has to be a choice. You, you need to choose, I will not give my time and my thoughts to the evil spirits. I will tell them to go. You see, God gives us joy. He wants to have joy in our hearts. And that fills us with His light and His power. Because the joy of God is our strength. But we can choose to have that. But demons see that. They're jealous. So they try to find a weakness inside of us. And they look for what area of weakness they can speak to. And they try to turn that light off. With fear. They speak fear into your heart. Oh, if you trust God, bad things will happen. If you don't give money to the evil spirits, then they'll attack you. So give food to the spirit house. Keep your head down. And submit to the evil. And and live in fear. But God wants to come and say, no, you overcome this evil. The evil spirits are not more powerful. When God is on the inside, God wants to give joy. God also wants to give friendships. People that we can connect with. People that care about us. That point us to God. That keeps the light on. And these demons, they see this and they are jealous of you. And they want that too. So they try to find weakness in you. And one weakness they look for is trauma. 
hay chấm lấy soi môi trong chi vật bao nhiêu nữa cứ cả tọt sơn and they say lies to you we and they cả của họ một cái nhiều when bad things happen to you nó bị đại ca mình lo cả lăng trong chi vật nhiều like sexual abuse rồi bị bạn đối chơi nó bị đại dương tụt tua bàn cả lộn rộn lộn một biên tệ tông phẩm phẩm or physical abuse rồi có tệ tông sai chi mọi nhiều tiền cài they whisper evil thoughts into your head đối chơi này về chấp đam cơ sấp They say things like you deserve it. Nobody will love you. That's the way it should be. Or I will never trust anyone ever again. And God sees that. And He says, "Don't listen to it." You can trust God. If you have been through abuse, if you have felt like you're not good enough, God loves you. You are good enough in His eyes. You are loved in His heart. And He wants to turn that light back on to you. He wants, he wants to get that evil out. Because that is not true. God also wants to give us purpose. God gives the purpose of our lives. To do good in this world. This is what God wants to give. But instead, we we the demons look for evil things in us. They look for a weakness. And they see, oh, people disappoint you. You should feel depressed. You should have hatred. Because you can't have purpose. You can't accomplish what you want. Maybe you felt like I don't have a purpose. And this makes you angry. You feel like I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't have enough money. And you get jealous. And you you hate the other people that are doing good. And you feel so angry inside. And God's love and light doesn't feel like it's there. And you hate everyone. Maybe you felt this way. I have felt this way. Before I was a Christian, I was, I, I had depression. I was so sad. Because I was jealous of everyone else. I feel like, oh, that person's so much smarter. Oh, their family has more money than mine. And it made me depressed and angry. And evil spirits saw this in my life. And they started to make noises in my heart. They started to speak. Hate everyone. You're not good enough. And I believe them. And, the, and I had no hope in my heart. So I turned to using a Ouija board or communicating to the spirits. And I started to listen to them instead. And the more I listened to them, the more fear I had, the more anger I felt. And I felt like I couldn't get out. And one night, in my room, I was ready to kill myself. I didn't want to live anymore. The demons, I had only listened to them. I could feel the evil spirits in my room. And I just wanted it to end. And so in that moment, I thought, is there anything in this world that can help me? Is there anything that can save my life? I'll take it. And in the darkest moment of my heart, 
I said, Jesus, save me. Jesus, come into my life. I want to get free. I don't want this stuff anymore. And in a moment, the light came on. I felt this peace that I couldn't explain. And I thought, whoever Jesus is, I want more. I want to know more about you. I want to live for you. I want to be free. And I want to help other people get free. Because this is so good. And this is why Jesus came. Because he sees the evil spirits. And he sees, I have the power. I can save you. You are not stuck. And I will come in your life. And and I will set you free because I do miracles. Today, I will do a miracle. God wants to do miracles. Jesus says the devil comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But I, Jesus, come to give you life. Jesus didn't come just to teach good ideas. He came because God gives life. God gives hope. He gives joy. Friendships. Purpose. All is in God. And the demons must go. They can't stand against God when he's in me. It's impossible. And why? Because Jesus gives us the authority. Jesus gives the authority and the power to cast out evil. Jesus said, I have come to set you free. But his last words to his friends on earth, his last words on earth was all power. All the power is given to me. Now you, you go set the people free. Because I'm going to live inside you. All the power is given to Jesus. And when we ask Jesus to come in us, it's in me. You can't say anything against me. Because the power is in me. Even if I die, I go to heaven. You can't do anything to me. Because I have the power in me. Do you want the power in you? Are you tired of the evil spirits. They take and they take and they take. And you're tired of this. It's time to give your life to Jesus. It's time to ask him to come into your heart and forgive your sin and say, Jesus, come in. Save me. I want to be free and cast the evil spirits out of me. Are you already a Christian? And you know who Jesus is. But maybe you are scared of praying with this power. Don't be afraid. Whether you don't know Jesus, or you do know Jesus, He offers the same power to all of us. If we choose to go help people, or we need the help, that's what God is for today. The God of miracles is here for you today. Take some time right now. Are you feeling this in your heart? Maybe as I was talking, he said, yeah, I want that freedom. Or I need to pray for people to have that freedom. Who 
whoever you are. It can change right now. We I plop do I learn by saying, God, I'm here. Fill me with your power. Use me. Today's the day. To live with miracles. Let's pray. Jesus, fill us up. Cast out the evil. Whatever evil is in our hearts. We ask you to come in. And send it out. God, we give you all of our depression. All of our hurt. Everything for you, God. We give it to you. Come into our lives. Fill us up. Faith, rise up in Jesus. Hope, rise up. Freedom is today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.